the overview for the Spring Core annotations and then Spring Boot annotation. Then because we are in the my my projects is Spring Boot based uh, projects, so we see that there's the really fundamentals annotations, Spring Boot application annotation to make the main class uh, methods, the Spring Boot application in encapsulate. This annotation has a really important uh, definition. It has con it has it in, uh, the includes the configurations annotations in enable auto configuration and a component scanner so that means if you annotate the your application main methods uh, the main class and uh, main methods uh, main class and then in under the method main methods it's automatically inject the auto configurations and configuration and component scans so all the properties from the spring boot you can see the enable auto configurations and then you can conditional on class and on class missing argument is present or past or is, is, is exist or not exist even though you can conditional on beans on been missing present absence of specific bean conditional on property make condition on the value of property uh, it's it's it, you can google it and you can get more really more details i mean that much because everything and it's it's, it's, it's it's they take long time to define it but i give it to you what's really important annotation in the spring boot you get to learn how you will program it in spring framework for spring boot frameworks doesn't matter the conditionals and conditional web web apis this is that so spring bit web annotation this is the most important one i need to be talked to detail this one so yeah if you are in the, the you are, if you try to expose your rest apis then you have to request mappings that's everybody knows the basic annotations and this has the, the extensions extension get mappings or post mappings and put mapping delete mapping patch mapping on different values of the request mappings so that means in the in the when you try to http protocol http crude operations get put uh, post update delete and patch then you can write down this annotation and put the specific methods on, on it that means if you read like say put mapping you give it to your url names your values and then that's all it's automatically work because this is one of the standard the older one and that they they are come up together with the other the newer the spring boot or spring 5 and the spring boot 2 versions they have a possibility to get mapping directly to write down get mapping post mapping put mapping and delete mapping i will show you detail this one because when the implementation is started the quiz body I have a request body maybe when you try to pass the object onto the uh, to save in the database you pass a request body path variable to look to the url and to pass look for the specific uh, or a record from the database and that's the new path variable and the query parameter most important one if you have a search functionalities uh, from the multiple input parameters you define as query parameters and pass the each specific query parameter to the to the to the your, your controller or implementation object model uh, methods and it works response body that means the return object that has a response the rest has a, all possibility you can uh, response it like as xml or json uh, even the plain csv text or pdf or a lot of lot of there is a all, almost 10 or 12 uh, for expose format the output format the in the by default in the json world it's look like in the on the JSON by default. If you don't define the the uh, consumer and producers, and it's defined auto automatically expose your 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 your, your data or your information as a JSON format. REST controller this is one of the most important. Is a class level annotations. You define your uh, your class as a REST and a controller. Uh, REST controller and then it's, it's do your REST operation, you all the code operation, or other search functionalities and combined functionalities. Doesn't matter or uh, which, which, uh, which, uh, which, uh, which uh, backend technology, which middle layer technology you have it. Cross uh, cross origin. This is the one for the the uh, enable cross origin communication. Like sometimes there's a problem if you have a implemented uh, services like doesn't support the cross origin uh, support you cannot call it indirectly into javascript this is the other one that's why sometimes we put in like this annotation in the method level even in the class level and then it's it's it's, it's support both sign javascript it doesn't matter any which front end technology you are 
but basically in a professional life we didn't use it we we use like like in proxies and proxies and a proxy server setup and it's automatically use it and this is model attribute for the for the for the controller for mbc spring boot mbc this one and it's being scheduling this is one of the 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 future part i will try to make some screencast uh, when when some new records or some some documents or some billings or payments coming into the backend server i will prepare the the some pdf or csv or excel or xsl documents and expose in certain time to to send to the client via mails that's why the scheduling is important part that i i try to give it to you some idea how the spring scheduling annotation works so enable sync that's syncing the your functionalities enable scheduling to schedule you enable and that means if you try to make like uh, every week uh, saturday or sunday you try to send one mails to the with some invoice or some content to the to the clients and you can you can use it you can schedule those things together this very quickly very very, very efficient annotations and it works spring boot scheduling you can schedule uh, some specific methods for a specific time frame only hourly weekly daily monthly or yearly or doesn't matter or, or, min, or minutes you can fix it how many times you need to be. you can close click this one this annotation into the googles but i try to use it in the later later screencast part of the my screencast schedules you can do the multiple schedules for the same functional same methods that like one day one week one month and then it's scheduled multiple multiple time periods and it's sent it to the emails in respective time periods so this is most one of the most important part the annotation part is spring data annotation is spring data spring data jp annotation transactionals you see the transactional the configured transactional behavior of a methods no win property methods a repository that's everybody knows the every repository uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a database communication layers you define your repository and communicate your backend server to the your models, your domain models, or your water models, or object models. So most important annotations, repository annotations. Create and be in the following repository interface, and this is the 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 the, the params, and you can pass the params name, parameters. Uh, that means in the query, doesn't matter. Uh, you can pass the JD. I will show you this one. This is the most important one. I need to explain it a bit more into, into the into the development when I did the development. So query means that you you can pass the query JP JPQL query annotations and native SQL query annotations, and then this query the parameter you can can bypass params and then you pass the parameters and do the query part. And this is the one of the and the well known annotations you can define the your tables. Uh, from the domain models build the specific table names or if you don't define it it's automatically build the based on your domain names and skill and this is the primary key annotations from the hibernate or jpa doesn't matter tanshian means that everybody knows you don't like to to store these fields or to to, to save this field or delete this field into the database level you can you can do the tanshian uh, tanshian annotation that means this field is not to make into the to 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 do those any cooperation into the read write operation into the backend machines or backend servers in the in your database models. I mean that's one. So this is the most important. So that means we learn about little bit about Spring Core annotation, Spring Boot annotation, Spring Data annotations, and Spring Web annotation. That's the, the basic idea to get it how the annotation works how the annotation used into my models. So every annotation, the red, red one I will use in my application, what I'm trying to do with you. And then other one for other application, I already use it, but I cannot, uh, I cannot give you to some example this case, but I am red mark one I will give you really how it is used, how can you use it, how it just works together. This one, the part of that. So you can modify some like crude operations. You can directly write down your native SQLs. You can modify, you can delete, update, create some some insert manually without your, your repository models or your JPA models. This has the possibility to modify this, modify annotations. And then you enable JPA repository to do some, some inability for writing your um, KTD APIs or, or, or API. To write down your complex queries 
you can even though this is the procedure calls you can use this annotation to call the database procedure maybe your sql developer build the procedures and you as a, as a java developer you call this procedure build the functionalities and then after that the